Before I say anything else, I wanted to thank you for giving me time. When I first came here, I never expected that I would meet you or feel this way about you. That we would end up here, together. I know that you told me you were not going anywhere, but I still worried, if only a little, that my asking for time to think would be a problem. There is no precedent for any of this. A romantic relationship not within the bounds of Barun culture, I mean. I wanted to attempt to honor that culture nonetheless. I know, and I love you for that. The point I am trying to get to is that I believe I have an idea, a way I can demonstrate my commitment to you. I was hoping that would be your response. This is between you and me, and no one else. You know who I am. I do not need to explain myself to you as I would to others. They might not understand, and I do not want that distraction. I want to be able to focus on us. So as soon as you are ready, I want us to travel together to the second planet in the Shosa system. There's something we need to do there. Every world with living things is a treasure. There is little I can offer to show you how much I care, how much you mean to me. Whatever House Varun deems proper could not work, because you are not House Varun. And whatever marriage traditions you might have would not be appropriate for me. If you are not joking, then no, you are not. But there is something here that I believe will make up for it. This place, where we stand now, is the first place I was brought upon leaving my city, Dasra. The first time I had ever left my home planet. As you know, I was never allowed to know the way back home. That frightened me. But at the same time, I was suddenly aware of not just one planet, but a whole universe I had never seen. That is a feeling I had not experienced again until I met you. You have already done so. There is no need for you to worry. But there is more. Buried here is something of great value to me. Something I wish you to have. It is best, I think, if you are the one to retrieve it. Hold 
in your hands, the most treasured item I could give you. No. You certainly have not. There is a reason for that, and I hope when I explain why, you will understand what this means. In my culture, every child is entrusted with a pet groat. They are domesticated creatures native to my planet. Smelly, cantankerous, but their milk is a staple of our diet. We raise the groat. We care for it. We milk it. And when we come of age, we slaughter the groat and fashion its skull into a dagger. It is a lesson. Through this growth, we are shown the connection that we have to the Great Serpent. That all things serve the Serpent, and can be tools for his use, in more ways than one. I am glad that you can appreciate that. Every member of House Varun has a dagger like this. We are instructed to keep them at our side at all times. The Great Serpent is always with us, as is the danger of those who defy and oppose him. But that constant connection to the Great Serpent is a liability to those of us sent out into the settled systems. So when we first leave our home, we hide it. Yes, precisely. So, for years, this dagger has remained buried here, hidden from the world. But now... I believe you should have it. With it, I hope you can understand that I trust you completely. That I know you will care for this the way you care for me. And that we are connected in a way that is now truly unique in the settled systems. In all of creation. I love you, and I am yours. Wholly and completely. You are very welcome, and I know that you will. I would not have brought you here otherwise. Whew. Now, surely there is some other grand adventure that awaits us. We should go and meet it head on.